What's going on YouTube? It's Drew Lefty in DV10. Uh, as you can see, I have my SGC order uh, returned. Um, a few weeks ago, I did make a guess the grade video. Um, I've already, of course, seen the grades and looked at my scans and done all that, but I figured I would unbox these live. Um, first off, we did have one uh, do not grade. Well, cannot slash do not grade. So no charge on that. Um, PSA has graded exactly one card from this set. Um, so I don't know if SGC just didn't know about it or it's just not one they grade, but, uh, anyways, very cool. So I don't know what I'll do with that. Um, this one, of course I knew it was going to get a one. It's an oversized postcard. Very cool. This thing is just stunning. This was up in my videos for the longest time. There's, there was no upcharge on this card to get it graded. It was the same, uh, $19. So PC 796 Charlie street which is, of course, Gabby Street. The pose on that is just incredible. So he will finally have a home up there instead of a uh, dingy top loader. All right. And then also uh, we had this. This was just a re-slab, Aussie Shrek, Lincoln Pub, 1906. Very happy to get that in a one-and-a-half holder. So those are awesome. The big holders are, are just super cool. So anyways, we will dive right in. Box number one. So I've written down what my guess the grades were. Um, I was very, very close on all of them <laughs> within uh, within a half grade of everything, except for uh, the turkey card, uh, which, and for the better, um, as you'll see. So anyways, as I struggle to get into these boxes, um, I did send a bunch of stuff in for a buddy as well. So if you see a bunch of um, Boss Schmidt cards, those are not mine which, yep, there's going to be a bunch here. So let me just adjust the camera. Whoop, there we go. So uh, Bosch Schmidt coupon, again, not mine. Uh, let's see, Jimmy Burke, not mine. Maybe these are all his. Yep. So far, none of mine. Apologies, apologies. A couple more. Yep. All these are going to be, yeah, all those are his. Sweet. So maybe this next one will all be mine. Uh, but SGC was super quick on their turnaround. Uh, these got subbed on a Monday, and um, grades were posted on a Friday. So four days. Door-to-door, <laughs> um, -door, this was like 10-day turnaround. 10 total days, not even business days. Actually, no, a week. <laughs> I got these back in seven days, holy smokes. All right, <clears throat> all right, here we go. Some cool stuff, so um, we'll use, we'll try to hide it. I don't know how this is gonna work. This was my guesses here. So Jerry Up, I said a one and it got a one. No surprise there. Uh, Mike Donlin, uh, I said a one and a half. And I got a one and a half. Very cool. EPDG. Love that. Ginger Beaumont. Oh, let's do this. I'm awful at this. I'm no, uh, I'm no YouTube celebrity anymore. Um, Ginger Beaumont. I said a two, maybe a one and a half. I, I said, I think it should get a two. And it got a two. All right. Next up, we got, whoop, well, I spoiled that one. Uh, Peter O'Brien, I said a two, just because of the stain down there in the corner. Two and a half, so I'll take it. That's for the collection, of course. Next up, we got Bugs Raymond. I said a two as well. I still think this card should have gotten a two, but it got a two and a half. So, hey, I'll take it. It's for my collection, Bugs Raymond Sov. But I definitely think that should have been a two. But I will take it. It's not going anywhere, so it doesn't matter anyways. Uh, this one actually didn't even show off. It wasn't on my guess the grade. This was uh, this is an E-101 Bill O'Hara. Uh, very cool caramel set. Tough to find these. Thought this was just really cool. Um, I, I guessed a two on that, and it got a two. All right, next up, another E-101. This is Admiral Chalet. I guessed a one and a half on this card, and that's what it got. This is a beauty. This is a stunner. Love it. 
Freaking love this image. Max, you definitely got to get one of these, man. This card is just awesome. Admiral Schley. Very cool. All right, next up we got, uh, which one is this? All right, this is the Old Mill Johnny Bates. Um, I guessed a one and a half, and I was correct. It's a very tough print group one card. Very, very cool looking card. Love that. All right, next up we got, uh, let's see which one is this. Okay, this is the Jumbo Oversized card. Uh, this is one I missed on. I said a three, and I also said a two and a half would not surprise me. Boom, three and a half. So super stoked with that. Uh, I think they just love the scenery on this thing. It has no creases. Gorgeous, gorgeous card. I, I am so stoked that that got a three and a half. I'm actually really just happy that it got graded, uh, that they slabbed it due to the size. So I will definitely take a three and a half. Oh, man, this is one I didn't include either. I've got to do a whole nother video on this card. If you know anything about T206, and my lighting is terrible here to show it off. It's making it look like it's barely there. But anyways, this is a ghost image. This is a mega, mega, mega cool find that I had on eBay and won and submitted it uh, last minute raw. But it got a two. Just super cool to have that in hand. Love that card. That is incredible. Just an incredible piece. Uh, I'll do a whole video on that card um, later up, later on. Uh, next up, Merkel, Merkel Coupon. What did I say? I said a one. This is another one I missed on. Got one and a half. So I was very happy with that. Thank you, Brian, again for that. I love this pose. I love, I love Fred Merkel. Um, outside of the uh, Boston Doves, you know, slash Braves, uh, the New York Giants are my favorite um, team. So. Love the New York Giant stuff. Uh, Merkel, love his story. Merkel's boner, all that good stuff. And last card from this box before we get to box number three. Uh, this is E90-1 Howell. No surprise here. I said a one. It definitely got a one. A little bit of registration shift going on with that guy. Just a mega, mega tough E90-1. All right, last box. Sorry for the long video. Lots of cool stuff, though. Um, again, SGC, you yeah, know, doing their thing. Um, Pre-wars, their bread and butter, I think as PSA continues to ramp up, you know, and, and just crush subs, they're going to um, continue to have to lower prices, which, which I think is good, um, you know, to remain competitive. So, yeah, anyways, they're, they're good for, you know, they're good for what they're good for. I'll, I'll say that much. Um, love their slabs, love their cases. They're, you know, the king of, of pre-war in my opinion. Uh, this is the Johnny Bates O stamp. I'm not even sure I guessed a grade on this. Actually, no, I did, didn't I? E yes, I did. O stamp. I said a one. I, that's what it got. They do not like stamps anymore. Uh, I thought this, I figured a one just because the stamp bled through to the front. Uh, but that's just a super cool stamp. Would not have shocked me if that got a one and a half because there wasn't any creases or anything. Uh, bummer on this one. Aussie Shrek um, says... Minimum size not met, which doesn't mean it's trimmed. It just means that uh, at minimum size, which is just silly because these T206 have a size variance that is accepted, as you can see, by the giant baits that got a three and a half. So I only sent this in because A, it's Aussie and uh, had a cool stamp. So that was one of the disappointments. I think they flipped it. Let me see. All right, next up, got a T214, Gabby Street. I'm sorry, T213. Uh, I said a one, and that's what it got. I was just happy that this got numerical grade. Very happy on that one. This one, I was. Uh, this was the biggest miss that I had as far as a grade. Uh, this is a T42 Wild Turkey. I said a three. And I got a four, so I was super stoked with that. Very cool. Very, very cool. Super cool back on that. Love it. So I was very happy with that grade. Very happy with that. All right. Uh, I did not guess a grade on these. These uh, came from Nuff Said Cards. I just had no clue at all how these would grade. And boy, am I just absolutely over the moon. Uh, I got a one and a half on that one. Got any Dukes stamps? Kids fighting over her. <laughs> Duke cigarettes cards. Just, I mean, this is the origin of the hobby. These two cards. That's how it all started, folks. Um, this is another one, so I didn't guess a grade on it either. 
give us that card, mister. But it got a two and a half. That is crazy. I mean, this is these two are some of the my absolute most favorite cards in my entire collection. Um, I'm, yeah, you, you just put yourself in the shoes of an 1889 child um, hounding an esteemed gentleman for his picture men card that he got out of a cigarette pack. So just lovely. Love that thing. Love it. Incredible. Andrew, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for those. Uh, this is uh, T210 Morris. I said a one and that is what it got. No, no, no surprise there. Last couple cards. Uh, I did not show this one off because I just threw it in last minute as well. This is a N76 Francis Scott Key. Um, I mean, if you love Americana and you love baseball, uh, 1888. So this is the card, or this is the sort of card that the kids would have been begging um, the old man for in that photo. So um, anyways, N76 is the designation on this. Francis Scott Key. One and a half. This thing is beautiful. There's some great, uh, it's actually got a stamp back as well. Can't really make out what it says, but very cool. Francis Scott Key, Star Spangled Banner. Oh, say, can you see? Love it. All right. Last three cards. Uh, Stuffy McGinnis, E90-1. I guessed a one and a half. Boom. I am on a roll. So I've only missed, I think I missed three cards. And uh, they were all better than I thought. I'm, I'm a very harsh critic. Uh, Besher, E90-1. This is an impossible card to find. Go, go find another one of an E90-1, I guess the one, and that's, I, A, I'm just really glad this didn't get an authentic, that corner was barely hanging on, whew, love to have that in a slab, and then last card, uh, this one was a surprise, actually, so I missed five cards, because I, I thought they would hold her this as a one and a half, um, I could see this being trimmed, sure, why not, so, uh, evidence of trimming up top, sure, whatever, uh, I just slabbed because it's a Howie McCormick stamp, which is a famous T206 collector, from Gainesville, Florida back in the day. So, and this is a very, very nice stamp on this one. Um, so that is it guys. That is uh, everything I've got. Thank you all so much for watching. See you next time.